Well, congrats to UCLA. They, they deserved that win. They played really, really hard, and they were the aggressors for the most part the, the entire game until maybe the last five or six minutes. Um, but I'm really proud of our team. What I'm going to take away is the fight that we had right to the finish. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't play with that same kind of fight early. Um, and, you know, I thought we did some of the things that we wanted to do. Uh, they had a heck of a night shooting the three. We didn't expect that. A lot of those, unfortunately, were, were open and pretty good looks, but they shot it better than they normally do. I thought we did a great job on the boards. They're getting 44% of their offensive rebounds, and tonight uh, it's about 32%. Our goal was 30, so we're a little short of that, but I thought we did a really good job on the boards. Um, I thought the turnovers and the points off turnovers were, uh, were key, and they just had too, too many long ex extended uh, runs, and we weren't able to quite catch them there at the end. Aggressively as they play defensively, Kelly, you mentioned the turnovers. That's a season high for you guys. Yep. And for Tahina, five, a 5-0 five is extremely unlike her by way of ratio. What, what was it that they were doing? Well, I thought she got too deep. I, I would guess that most of her turnovers was when, were when she got just too deep into the paint with really nowhere to go. And they're athletic. They're good. They're, they're quick. They, uh, we didn't have cutters open. Sometimes when we drive baseline, you know, we have kids that cut. Have, they, they stayed with them and made us finish inside. And, and that hurt. So I think in her specific instance, that was a big key. Uh, and then some of the others just kind of poor passes, you know, few entry passes. They were really aggressive in their post in, uh, post defense, and we we made some kind of ill timed passes inside. Grace may get game plan a little bit differently. She finished really strong, strong, but started a little slow. Did they do anything different than she's seen throughout the year that kind of neutralized her there at the very start? Well, I think she just met up uh, with a team. You know, they switch, and, and um, they're really good. They're really athletic. They're strong, and they're physical, and they play low defensively. And so we didn't have that same kind of advantage. We tried to isolate her a couple times from the high post and couldn't get by the kid. But I thought in the second half, I was really proud of her. I thought, uh, you know, Tahina and, and uh, Grace combined for four points in the first half, and then I, I don't I, can't do the math real fast here, but it seems like they both ended up with about 17. So they turned that around and just, I thought it was because they were a lot more aggressive. Did you make the defensive effort before the frenzied finish? How'd you, how'd you guys defend until, like the end, obviously you enforced some things. Well, you know, when you game plan for Charisma Osborne and Kiki Rice and they have 26 at halftime, that's not very good defense. Um, I thought we'd done a relatively good job on the rest of them. It seemed like sort of a game run. Do you mention it yourself every time? It seemed like you guys went on a run. They went on one back. Was there anything specific that sort of, you know, stalled out for you guys that pushed their runs? Well, their runs were longer than ours. And ours came really late. There were a couple of times, man, I just thought uh, we could have made just that one key shot, gotten that one key rebound, and we just didn't do it, you know. Uh, the three in the corner where she's uh, chance stepped out of bounds, that cuts the lead to three right there with uh, you know a couple of possessions left. That was that was huge. Um, just those kind of things, you know. It's unfortunate, and that's what these kind of games come down to. But again, I'm I'm encouraged. Uh, you know, we we showed a lot of fight and did some of the things that we wanted to do. It just wasn't enough tonight. Yesterday, but again, now it's three losses to all the top ten teams. How's your, how do you feel like your group is processing that in terms of? banking this experience to try to be kind of a match for teams like this in, in the next two, three months? Yeah, well, I tried to build them up after the game and mention that same thing. I mean, we've lost, to, you know, the games we've lost are to quality opponents, but guess what? Pac-12 is really quality conference, so it's not like we're going to have a letdown on Sunday coming in here. They, from what I understand, beat the Beavs up there tonight, right? So it doesn't get any easier. And you know we've been uh, we've been on top of this conference for for a while, and so we're always one of those games that people kind of circle, and and um, so we've got to bounce back with a limited bench and not much time in between. You know I think tomorrow we're not going to be able to do much. It'll be like a pro shoot around, really, just kind of walk through because we play. We had a lot of kids play a lot of minutes, and they were hard, grueling minutes tonight. Police in the left leg. She was limping and had ice on her on her leg. That's that's all I know. I haven't talked to her. She says she feels fine, but you know I don't know.
<laughs> That's not good. We're one team that can't afford, you know, things like that. That situation notwithstanding, you had the last eight days or so to assess some things, to kick over some rocks to explore options. <laughs> Or no, square. no, we're sticking with what we got. The plan is still for her to not play when she arrives. Yeah, 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 and that's her decision. We're not, you know, we're not putting any pressure on her to to, to play. Yeah, I think what we have is fine. We're hoping Basham gets back in the next this next week. I personally was hoping we could at least get a minute or two tonight just so she can get her feet wet before she heads home to Arizona. We're playing at the Arizona. She's from Arizona. I'd hate to have to have that be her first game. That's a lot of pressure. So um, she's getting close, getting closer. What was it that Taylor was doing tonight to earn those kind of end of game moments? Well, we made a commitment over to the break after, you know, evaluating what we need. And, uh, you know, she's been actually playing really well for us and uh, gave us a huge lift. I'm proud of her. I thought she did a heck of a job tonight. And we made a commitment to, to get her more time, and we need to. Now that we're just a little bit more limited, uh, she's going to have to play a little bit more. Hanson's going to have to play a little bit more, and then, then Elise. Can you touch on USC a little bit? What do they bring? They forced 24 turnovers tonight from the Beavs. Yeah, which is hard to do. They take care of the ball pretty well. Um, a lot like this, they're going to be aggressive and physical and athletic and you know they are, they've got some really go-to players I haven't focused I try to always stay one game at a time I've seen them play a couple of times haven't really dug in and watched them so that's my job tonight and tomorrow before practice to get as many games in I'm confident my staff will have a good game plan ready for them uh, we'll be ready I think we'll be ready